I'm here at the California Institute of Technology or Caltech, the famous university which also runs the Jet Propulsion Laboratory part of NASA. So it's very much a climate mission. We're also studying the ecosystems, wetlands, carbon in biomass in forests and agricultural areas. Again, to understand the exchange of carbon from the ground up into the atmosphere and again related to climate. So very much a climate mission. Another objective is in the area of solid earth and natural hazards. So we're trying to understand the motions of the earth below the crust as they're affected by earthquake faults, volcanoes, and landslides, all the kinds of hazards that affect huge populations around the world. So the science we're trying to accomplish is understanding the earth as a system and uh, making things better for humans, saving lives as you say. India wants to use the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark II and in India we call that launch vehicle the naughty boy. <laughs> uh, is that a point of worry? Uh, when you started off there was no launch vehicle Mark III. So is, uh, is a launch on geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark II a point of worry? Well, any launch is always risky. Uh, that's true for any launch vehicle made by any nation. Uh, but we had a set of criteria agreed to with, uh, between NASA and ISRO as to uh, what would be considered a successful uh, set of steps necessary to be ready for launch. All of those criteria have been met. How difficult or easy was it to work with uh, engineers and scientists at the Indian Space Research Organization? I'd say easy. Uh, the scientists were very welcoming and open. Uh, I've been to India now 30 times. <laughs> excited about the NISAR mission? I am very excited about the NISAR mission. I've been work waiting for this mission for 30 years and I've been working explicitly on it for 14 years on this particular version of it. So yes, I cannot wait for the data. In Pasadena, California, Palau Bagla for NDTV.